Viewity is available today. Welcome to the Eye Care and Wellness Channel. I'm Joel Hayden, where we talk about all things optometry, nutrition, eye nutrition, and ways in which we can live longer and better. So if that interests you, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and let's talk about Viewity. So for those who don't know, Allergan, uh, one of eight companies right now to be working on an eye drop to replace those pesky reading glasses that you have to use, is out on the market. It um, got FDA approval in late October, and it is now here in the pharmacies. So you can ask your eye doctor to prescribe you that drop and see how you do with it. It's going to be very interesting. It works by shrinking the pupil a little bit. I did another video on it here to explain more about how it works, but it is now there. You're going to put the drop in in the morning, and it will last for about six hours. So you may wear contacts and wonder if you know this will work for you and it should I would um, probably put the drop in wait a good 10 minutes put your contacts in and go on with the day there was really hasn't been any discussion as to what to do when you get outside of that six hours of the day that it's meant for one time a day so what do you really need to know about beauty let's just talk quickly about the side effects there were two studies that they did for their FDA approval called Gemini 1 and Gemini 2. And as a result of the FDA trials, they found the four biggest side effects to be temporary irritation after instilling the drop, redness, poor vision under low lighting conditions, which makes sense since it's shrinking your pupil, and uh, some people had reported headaches. So those are the things you really want to watch out for if you like the effect of the drop and are getting those side effects. You're going to have to weigh the pros and the cons as to whether or not you want to keep trying it. And now let's just talk quick about what makes a good candidate. I think the best candidates are going to be the ones who are in the low power readers. I think this should definitely put them over the top. Um, may, probably the mid like the people who use plus 150 up to plus two should do well with it as well. Um, I'm worried more about the people with 250 to three um, for the reading power. I think that's, that's going to be tough for them because if they fall off at six hours, they're going to fall off hard because they have so far to go. I think the people who are in the higher powers, the 250 to three, I think it might be a struggle. But again, remember, we have seven other pharmaceutical companies coming out with these drops in the next few years. So it's going to be really interesting. What's the cost? Well, it looks like it's going to cost about $80 a month, which for a lot of people can be a lot of money. But on the other hand, to get rid of the nuisance of the reading glasses, it just might be what you're looking for. So again, discuss it with your doctor and, and take a look and see what um, your insurance company would cover towards it. Some I'm sure will cover some of it, some won't. This is the good RX pricing that I just pulled up off their website. So um, pretty exciting stuff, big, big game changer in eye care. So I'm gonna continue to put videos out on this type of information with any of the presbyopia drops coming out. So again, if you, if you wanna learn more about it, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and until next time, take care.